All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we are going to talk about fixing a lagging thinkorswim. So I have a very powerful computer, but you may have heard me on stream. It was lagging a lot, and thankfully for the cult man, shout out to Tim Whitman. He sent me a fix, and I was actually able to find a solution. So I'm going to go over a couple tips and tricks to speed up your TD Ameritrade. And again, if you're trading, I mean, it is very... Very crucial. You've even watched me make fat fingers off of having a lagging TOS, but this should help a lot, or at the very least, if you're experiencing unnecessary lag, hopefully we could get rid of that. So, starting with the main fix, this is the thing that I had so much success with. You're going to right click on the app logo, then go to open file location. It's going to take you to all of these files here. Now, what you want to do is look for a file that says thinkorswim. VM options and then you'll also find one that says dot back now this is the original one and you'll notice I have already edited it you don't need anything crazy you just go into wordpad and you open it with wordpad and then you are going to edit it and what you want to add is this right here I will include this in the description and you want it exactly the same so literally this little dash right here you want that there but add this line right here right below the D Sun Java 2 D and save it and leave it there and then even if you go to your VM options I believe again open it with notepad Oh, I put always open it. Damn it, I think I messed it up. But it should also show the same exact thing too. So these are also going to be now your memory settings and all of that. And we'll go over there. And depending on how you change that, that will have an effect. But this right here literally made a world's difference as far as performance and lag, especially as we were doing a lot of charting there. So all you got to do is that. I'll include it in the description. And again, shout out to Tim once again. There is also two or three more that you could add again i'll have these in the description but these are also the additional codes that you could add to it and what it does is it messes with the graphics cards and stops i think in my case my nvidia graphics card from like trying to do like crazy 3d stuff the whole time and that's why it was taking so much power on the system so that right there that fixed a lot but now let me show you a couple of other things you could do to speed up your td ameritrade now these are the easy ones everybody knows about all these ones or i'm sure you've probably seen it you can adjust your ram again just shout out to the the internet all the people again even Tim he sent me this as well too and what a lot of people say is if you're gonna go here for your memory settings they say to set it to about 50 to 75 percent of your total RAM so again I have about 60 gigabytes of RAM yet I was experiencing a lot of lag so I have mine around 24 gigabytes at the max and then you put the minimum around like 512 I believe I don't know if the minimum even has that big of a deal but these are the basic ones again you're going to be able to log in and you'll see it here. There's stuff if you go to like help and then system. One thing, if the system's running slow, you also do collect garbage. So these are all of the basic like maintenance stuff. Again, adjusting the RAM, you could clear your cache. But that VM options thing, that is literally going to make a world's difference. Now, again, that is the first part here. But once you go through that, make sure you adjust the little stuff. You could go through these steps. The next biggest thing that I noticed is come to trade and now you'll see my active trader i already have one of the futures up the more futures that you have open that will slow things down but that what the thing that really slows it down is your options chain so be careful of what ticker you have up here so if you try to even load the future options it is really really going to slow things down but even if you do the spy or an option chain that is very very active and that runs very very deep if you keep that on here and then you go to your chart and then like let's say you have a bunch of charts charting tools and other stuff it is really going to slow down your system so one of the easiest things you could do is just set it to like a dead ticker I put J again just J for Josh you know what I'm saying but it doesn't really trade a lot but I make sure this is on there and that will make sure that it doesn't slow down the system so that is tip number two and then finally the last thing that you need to be looking into now is running multiple instances so 
as you see here, I have TD Ameritrade already open. I am logged in. I'm going to go minimize it, and then I'm going to literally double-click on the logo for the app to reopen it all over again, right? And then it's going to bring me to the login screen, and then I'm going to enter in the same exact login for the same exact account, and I'm going to log in once again, opening up a second instance. So now I'm logged into that other account, but that is the second version that I have now open, and now I have two TD Ameritrade. So now why why should you do this because if you're going to use the active trader this is what i end up doing i put this one up on another screen and then this is one that you guys will even see on the stream but i put that over there and i you look at the chart at one and then I execute the trades on another. Believe it or not, if you open up multiple instances, it just takes away less pressure on the computer. So by doing all the charting on here, I can still execute trades on here and you guys have seen me do that. But in general, by trading on the other one and having a separate instance open for active trader, it takes way less computer resources. So if you've seen my lag, I mean, again, this was like a month or two ago. I was really, really lagging bad after nowhere. I like updated my drivers and all of that. This is what I've done to fix it. And things have been going fast. And again, I have a lot of stuff and then I keep a lot of stuff open. But hopefully this helps out. Let me know what you think. And I will see you Monday, baby. And I hope you're ready. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.